So before starting to solder, you want to make sure that your fan is on. So you have a vent and your soldering iron is on. So I put mine's around 700. Um, you want to make sure that your sponge is wet so that you can clean your iron chip. As you can see in my setup, I, I taped a highlighter here so that I'll have like a spool and a stopper so I can easily um, retrieve my, my solder right here. So here I want to solder right in the middle where I looped around the, um, the LED. So let's start soldering. So I want to clean it before and after I solder. And it looks a little bit like this. So here I want to cut off the extra leads of the LED, one on the LED itself and one of the resistor. So I'll take my pliers and just snip it off. And then I want to bend down the lead of the resistor. So it looks like that. So now we're ready to put the LED resistor unit onto our circuit here. We're going to put it on the opposite side of where we stitched the pro wick. So I'm going to start with um, holding the negative side, because the negative will be in the middle. And I'll center it on the center point here. I'll just poke it through where the machine needle went. And then the positive side, I'll put it wherever it will fit. And just poke it through and then on the back side uh, we'll bend it down so it's negative side we'll bend down the lead and the positive side I'll bend down the lead facing towards the, the circuit so I know exactly where I need to solder Now I'll take my pliers, or the, the cutting one, and I will snip off the extra leads that are sticking out. So I'll just hold on to it and I'll snip it close to the, the circuit, but making sure that I have enough of um, the lead so that I can solder right here. So I'll do the same for the positive side. Now I'm ready to solder it down. Um, I'll make sure that it's close to the fan so the fumes will blow away from my face. And I'll start with the negative. And I 
clean my my soldering tip before and after I solder, you know, just as a habit. But if you can see, the solder actually absorbs into the desoldering wick because that's its purpose. And um, I make sure there's like a big enough blob where it will adhere to the lead. It'll adhere to the lead of the negative um, side. I'll continue on with the positive side. Here it looks like this. Now you just want to go down the line and add another one of these units to your circuit. Um, if there's no like practical hole where you can poke through, I'll just poke one with my needle here. So at the end it looks a little bit like this and I went from here around here and as you can see starting from here I started putting my resistor all the way out here um, towards the outer outer side of the heart and more consistently than over here but this is just for practice and for this tutorial so it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs>